Hi everyone, welcome to my webinar. My name is Sherry Johnson. I am an essential oil educator and a nutritionist, but what I really love to do is help the crazy busy women in this world. So if you are someone who answers the question, how are you with a standard, I'm crazy busy, it is you that I'm talking to. Um, I really love to share what I know. I was one of those women in my past and it's small shifts that can make a huge difference. I would really love to see you add a little bit more passion, uh, find a break in your routine, add a little creativity, and find more balance in your lives. So let's get started. I'm so excited that you're here. I have so much to share. Um, as I said, there are lots of ways that you can incorporate um, small shifts into your routine. Today we're going to be talking about essential oils and there's tiny little things that you can do that will make a big impact on your both your physical health as well as your mental well-being. So that's what I want to share with you. Let me just get my PowerPoint up in front of me here and, and you can follow along. There we are. Okay, so one of the big reasons why I find it's important to incorporate essential oils into our lives um, is my picture of modern medicine. And the first thing that I want to share with you is that we spend $4.5 trillion a year on global health care. So that's US, Canada, that's everywhere. Um, in the Western world, that's primarily spent on Western medicine. This does not include things like alternative health care. So that's a huge dollar amount. So as I said, most of that is based on, on medication, which is made from isolated synthetic agents. It might start with an essential oil or an herb, but the pharmaceutical companies will take those herbs and um, modify them, or they might add another chemical or another agent so that they can put a patent on it and charge us more money. So that's how medication is primarily made. The side effects are known and unknown. There's, there's many side effects that don't come out in the research um, that, that pharmaceutical companies or doctors aren't even aware of when they prescribe something. So that's pretty scary to me. Um, and, and the fact that there are known side effects to many of our medications is also scary. They're primarily designed to manage symptoms, not root causes of our disease, which is also a big problem. We really, if we go after the root cause of an issue, we can nip it in the bud, get rid of it forever. Um, if you just manage the symptoms, then that, that root cause just stays there. We have made advancements in modern medicine, but are we healthier today than we were five years ago? I would argue that we're not. I have a little um, quote here that comes from the National Mental Health Association um, in the U.S. This is a U.S. quote, but I, I find it, it's probably fairly reflective of Canada as well. Preschool age children are the fastest age group being prescribed antidepressants. That breaks my heart. There are so many things that we can do uh, outside of offering prescription antidepressants to kids to manage their issues. Uh, another little tidbit for you, the largest age group being prescribed antidepressants is women, age 35 to 45. I'm in that age category. Most of the people who are gonna be watching this are probably in and around that age category. So that's us. And that's scary too. So that is a great reason to use nature's solutions. Um, I'm actually gonna stop there and before I go on to this slide, I wanna add a couple of more to that. So medication, huge reason to switch to natural solutions. Um, side effects, all of that that I just discussed. But there's also some other reasons why we wanna switch. So medication has a huge burden on our liver. And if you are a crazy busy woman, your stress hormones are likely elevated on a regular basis. They don't have a chance to come down. And it's your liver that helps to process excess hormones. In fact, it helps to process hormones altogether. So if you're feeling low energy, irritable, you're you know, yelling at your kids or your loved ones, um, all of those things are 
primarily caused by hormonal imbalance and energy imbalances, which can all be linked back to the liver and its inability to process and help um, smooth functioning of your hormonal system. So that's a great reason to lessen your dependency on on modern medication because every time you put medication into your body, your liver tries to get rid of it. That's this natural reaction. So the other thing is that most of the commercially made personal care products out there also contain chemicals, toxins, um, all kinds of stuff that's not really good for us. And all of those personal care items, um, if you're applying it on your skin, your skin is absorbing it. So all those toxins are getting into your bloodstream through your skin and back to the liver. So your liver has to try and process those too. Same with the antibiotics, pesticides, um, things that are coming in in our food, as well as the pollutions and toxins that we're breathing in. So that's a much larger reason why we want to stay away from um, all of the commercially made products, medications, and things like that. Let's lessen our dependency on those and turn our attention to natural solutions. There are lots of them out there. As I said, we're focusing on essential oils today. They can help and help to manage health naturally and address root causes. So rather than symptoms, they address root causes. They're made of hundreds of natural compounds that are found in the plants that support our physical and emotional health. So let's stop there for a second and talk about what essential oils are. On the screen, you can see a mint leaf, peppermint, over here in the corner. I don't know if you can see my arrow. Um, magnified under a microscope, it looks like the bottom picture in purple. It's funny that it looks purple when it's magnified. Um, you can see these little white sacs on that purple leaf. And that's, those, those are the sacs that are holding the essential oil themselves. So when you have a mojito, and you crush up mint leaves to put in there, what you're doing when you crush the leaves is crushing those little sacks of essential oil and it releases the essential oil and the aroma that you smell when you drink a mojito. Um, those essential oil sacks are actually protection for the plant. They protect the plant from disease, from their natural pests, whether it be bugs or um, bacteria, um, all of those threats, environmental threats to the plant. So the essential oils, their immune system, and they can have an effect on our immune system as well. They are safe and they have very little in the way of side effects. So that's another great reason to consider them over medication that does have side effects. And they're very cost effective. They're only pennies per dose. So to give you an example, we think nothing of going out and buying a bottle of Advil for 20 bucks. And a bottle of peppermint will cost you about 25 bucks. Um, there's 250 drops in that bottle of peppermint oil. So that's um, a lot of, of doses per se of, of peppermint that you can use for some of the same reasons that you might use Advil. And when you use them, you feel empowered. That is one thing that I found. Um, so I'll tell you a story on how I got started with essential oils. I bought this whole kit when I started um, using essential oils. And a lot of the oils in there, I didn't know what to do. I hadn't been to a webinar or a class. I had really no idea what I was doing. But there was this little bottle of something called Intune Focus Blend. And I have a huge issue in the afternoon, uh, right around this time, it's, it's 10 to 3 as I'm recording this, uh, between 2 and about 4, I tend to feel low energy, low motivation. That's when me and along with a lot of other people are reaching for coffee or they're headed to the vending machine to get something sugary to boost their blood sugar. Um, and hence the feeling of energy. So. I tried this little bottle of Intune, put a little drop on the bottom of my feet and on my wrists and powered through an afternoon worth of work without needing a break. It was so empowering to know that I had something in my own little toolkit 
that I could use for my own benefit. Um, and I love that. That was really super empowering. I'm just need to grab a glass of water here. So before we really dive in, I want to, before we dive into really helping you become a healer in your home, I want to let you know that I'm not a doctor. I'm just someone who's passionate. I'm not trying to diagnose, treat, or cure any ailments. I'm going to mention some things as we talk about the oils, but uh, again, I'm not trying to diagnose or treat or cure. That's what a doctor is there for. Um, I don't have the ability or training to do that. The re any research that I present here is based on my own experience and my personal research into um, studies that I've found on the doTERRA database in PubMed. On, you can find all this stuff online. I would encourage you to do your own research and become educated. Um, there's so much research out there, but it's important that you choose an oil that's going to work for you. I would encourage you to look for a quality oil and we're going to talk more about that. I'm also not trying to discount medical professionals in any way. I do value their services. They are needed in many ways. There are just so many ways that we can avoid trips to the doctor in some cases um, or find our own solutions without being quite as dependent on them. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to talk a bit about quality. There are lots of essential oils out there on the market these days. There, you can find them in health food stores. You can find them at Walmart. I think you can even find them at the dollar store. Um, there's a big difference in the quality of those oils, and I want to tell you about that. So there are synthetic grade oils. There's four grades of oils, essentially. No pun intended. There's synthetic, which is your perfumes. Anytime you see the word fragrance on the ingredient list of a personal care product, that is synthetic essential oil, basically. They usually start, um, at, they can start with an essential oil and then they're modified, or they can start with entirely industrial chemical products um, and, and you create a scent that um, smells like something in nature. There's food grade which can be consumed, but they, those are primarily intended for flavor, not for therapeutic benefit. Then there's therapeutic essential oils. You'll find these in the health food store. Um, health food store staff will encourage you to use them only topically or aromatically. We'll talk about those later, but you would not consume something that you'd find in the health food store internally. Then there's a fourth grade, which is your certified therapeutic grade uh, of oils. And doTERRA is the only company that is producing oils of that grade. doTERRA is the company that I support. Um, I have come to love them and respect their quality. I'll tell you a little bit about their process. They're pure. So there's no natural or artificial ingredients, no other fragrances, and no other oils. So that's an important piece. Many of the oils that you'll find in the, in the health food store or even in other um, reputable oil companies, they will mix oils together. So they'll either dilute an oil with a vegetable oil, like an olive oil, or they may use a similarly scented oil to reduce the production cost of an oil. So as an example, um, lemon and citronella smell similar. Citronella is cheaper than lemon. So you might find some citronella in a health food store um, or other um, lemon oil. They are safe. So they are beyond organic. They're verified as pure. They um, do not contain pesticides or foreign contaminants. So they go through a process of seven levels of testing by a third party. So that's an uninterested third party. Um, that third party tests for purity. They make sure that there are no pesticides or foreign contaminants that have come through at any stage of the process. So they're tested at distillation stage, at bottling stage, after bottling stage. 
They're also tested for consistency. So when you open a bottle of peppermint um, one day and apply a drop for to soothe, um, soothe a headache, you, when you use that oil again, one drop should have the same effect. They're also potent. So they are made from plants that are grown and harvested in their natural habitat. So what that means, when, uh, let's take lavender as an example. Lavender grows all over the place. I have some in my own garden and I love it. I pick it um, in the early July. It's just starting to bloom now, end of June. Um, and it's all over my home. I love the smell. But it is not grown. This is not an indigenous, indigenous location for lavender to be grown. Its normal location is natural habitat is France. So doTERRA uses lavender that comes from France. When lavender grows in its natural habitat, the essential oil or the compounds in its own essential oil will be greater than what you might find in my backyard. So when a plant is exposed to the pests and the disease that its natural habitat, of its natural habitat, it will produce more compounds in its essential oil to repel those pests and that disease and bacteria. So the compounds are actually higher in plants that are grown in their natural habitats. So something that you want to look for when you're looking for an essential oil is that very thing, is plants that are grown in their natural habitats, not plants that are grown, um, that are farmed here in Canada necessarily, unless Canada is, it's, is the natural habitat for that particular plant. So doTERRA actually partners with farmers all over the world. That's what this map represents. There are um, plant, you can see the names of the plants. There are actually quite a few more that doTERRA has added to its list now. Um, but you can see that they're coming from all over the world. And many of those countries are developing countries. So this is another reason why I use doTERRA. And this might not be a cause for you or, a, or something that is really important to you, but it was really important to me. So when doTERRA partners with a farmer, and I say partners because they don't purchase those farms, they partner with those farmers and allow them to build their business. I like that. Um, they also, while they're doing that, they pair, pay them fair trade. They teach them everything there is to know about quality and distillation and ensure that they take pride in their business. And they also lift up those communities in the process. So when the harvesters start to make fair trade wages, they're able to um, you know, change the state of their community. There's more, um, they're increasing the economy of their community. Now, doTERRA also has a healing, what's called their Healing Hands Foundation, which is a philanthropic association that will directly contribute to those communities as well to make sure that they have running water um, or it might be a school that they need. Um, whatever it is that their community is short of or lacking, doTERRA can provide through their philanthropic association. And what I just recently learned about that association is that every dollar that is donated to it goes directly to the community. Um, that is really important to me. So many of the charitable organizations out there are taking an administrative cost, an administrative portion um, or share of each donation that's made to it. For So only a, a small portion of that donation is actually making its way to the end beneficiary. doTERRA funds those administrative costs themselves. So every dollar that you donate to the Healing Hands Foundation goes directly to the person in need. So I love that. Um, it's a big reason why I've stuck with doTERRA since I started using essential oils, and I wanted to share that with you. So let's talk about how essential oils are used. There's three ways to use them. Number one, aromatic. Um, and you can see a little picture of a diffuser on the corner of the screen. That's doTERRA's diffuser. You can get them in all kinds of places. I swear by doTERRA's. I've tried a few other ones. The one that's pictured on the screen is the least expensive and the easiest to use of all of the ones that I've ever used. 
um, from doTERRA at least. I've used less expensive versions from amazon.com and they did not work as well. Um, when you diffuse oils, you can calm nervousness, you can change moods, you can promote healthy respiratory activity. Um, the molecules that are diffused into the air through a diffuser are you breathe them in to your body, they get into your bloodstream, and they also hit the limbic system. So like I said, that limbic system is the governor of your mood, your feelings, your emotions. And when you breathe them in, they can also have an effect on your physical well-being because those molecules are now circulating in your blood and having a positive effect on whatever the physical issue that you're feeling. That's aromatic. It's also topical, so you can rub oils right on your body. Um, you can see in the picture they're using something called Deep Blue, which comes in a cream and an oil. It's an oil blend um, used for sore muscles, um, occasional soreness in after workouts, what have you. They do have a systemic and a localized effect. So when you rub them on the soles of your feet, for example, they enter your bloodstream through the pores in your feet and travel throughout your bloodstream within about a minute and can have a systemic effect on your body. You can also have a localized effect if you were to put, um, as I said, deep blue on a specific spot in your body, it will have an effect at that location. You can use them during massage, which is one of my favorite ways to use them. They provide immediate comfort and immune support as well. So aromatic, topical, and the third is internal. So um, you can take essential oils internally. I would only recommend, um, and I'm only comfortable recommending that with doTERRA's essential oils. Um, they are the only company that I feel comfortable in enough in the quality to take them internally because they are quite strong. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, so you need to be careful. You can take them under the tongue in a gel capsule and you can see a little picture of a gel capsule on the screen. doTERRA sells them. You can also get them in health food stores. Um, they're a little empty capsule that you can open up, put some oil in it, close it back up and swallow it like a pill. Um, you can also just put a drop in your water and um, and enjoy it in sparkling water or um, just flat water. I love the citrus oils for that. They're my most favorite thing to drink. I have a glass of water with grapefruit oil every single morning. And that can help promote health in the digestive system, the immune system, mouth, throat, liver, um, and so on. So that's the three ways to use oils. I do want to talk about essential oil safety right after I take a sip of water. So essential oils are very safe and gentle. I have not come across any research that cites um, any sort of death from overdose or any, any type of overdose, period. Um, but they can be hard on sensitive skin. Um, you you want to keep them out of your eyes, your ears, and your nose. If you're concerned, you can dilute them with vegetable oil, such as a fractionated coconut oil, which is like a liquefied coconut oil. You can see a picture of doTERRA's version on the screen. Um, but there are a few other companies out there that are starting to um, produce fractionated coconut oils as well. Um, Skin sensitivity is your primary safety issue, particularly for young skin. So children, infants, um, you'll always want to dilute for them. And there are label instructions on the essential oils. So you will know whether it's something you can take internally or whether it should not be taken internally. The ones that are can be dangerous if taken internally, actually have a childproof cap on them. There is a legend here that I'm gonna use as we go through the slides. So we're gonna talk about the top 10 oils in a minute. And this is the legend for the slides. So A is for aromatic, T is for topical, I is for internal. Those are the three uses that we just talked about. And then in terms of skin sensitivity, an N means that you can use the oil neat. So no dilution is required. S would mean that you should dilute it for young or sensitive skin. And D is, is an absolutely dilute, no matter who you're using it on. 
So let's talk about effectiveness because this also relates to safety. Essential oils are highly effective and highly potent. So many of you out there might have heard that when you drink peppermint tea, it can ease the digestive system. One drop of pure peppermint oil is equivalent to what's in 24 cups of peppermint tea. So they're quite strong and quite potent. I wanna make that clear. They're also quite effective. Um, this is, if any of you have taken biology before, you'll recognize that um, a cell has a fatty membrane that surrounds it. And in between our cells, there is something called interstitial fluid, which is a watery base, basically, for our cells. Bacteria live in the interstitial fluid in between cells. Antibiotics, which are water-soluble, can um, kill bacteria because they are water soluble and so is the interstitial fluid. Viruses tend to live inside the cell or they attach themselves to a cell and, and release their contents inside a cell. Um, and as we know, there's a fatty layer surrounding that cell. So a water soluble antibiotic or water soluble um, other sort of drug cannot penetrate that fatty layer of the cell. So this is where essential oils come in. They are a fat, they're an oil. Um, oil and water don't mix, but oil and oil does. So the essential oil can actually work its way through that cellular membrane and into the cell and have an impact on the virus inside the cell. So I find that really exciting. Um, something like oregano oil. There is currently some really exciting research going on where they are testing its effectiveness with superbugs, so the antibiotic resistant bugs, and with viruses, um, particularly HIV, which I think is really amazing. So I think if you watch the research, there will be some studies coming out that um, speak of the effectiveness of oregano with those um, with those uh, particular issues. So think of oregano as natural immune support. It's an excellent source of antioxidants. It also has that effect that we just talk about, talked about. It supports healthy digestion. So that's through um, helping to balance candida. Candida is yeast. We naturally have yeast in our bodies. It's balanced with bacteria healthy bacteria in our digestive tract, and oregano can help maintain that balance. So that's what that means by healthy, healthy digestion. It also can support healthy respiratory function, um, a healthy immune system, and it's a powerful cleansing and purifying agent. You can see here that oregano oil is one of the Ds, meaning that you must dilute it before putting it on your skin. I made the mistake of applying it to my husband's neck when he had an infection and it did not feel good. Oregano oil is a hot oil and it stings when it touches your skin or your tongue or um, any parts of your body. So it's definitely one that you will want to dilute before putting it on your skin. And it's one that I would use a empty vegetable capsule when taken internally. So it can be taken internally, you just want to put it in a capsule. It is far, far stronger than what you can get at the health food store. If you've ever tried a health food store version, um, those are diluted so much that you can take you know, up to 15 drops. I've seen some of them say as, the, as a dosage recommendation, um, you could not do that with oregano oil that comes from doTERRA. It is pure, pure, pure. It does not have any dilution already in the bowl. Lemon. Think of lemon as cleansing. So I have a keyword next to each of the slides. Oregano is a um, natural immune support and um, lemon is cleansing. So there's a keyword that can help you remember what each of the 10 oils is for. Lemon is really great at cleaning and purifying the air and surfaces. I put a little, a uh, few drops in a spray bottle with water and vinegar and I use that to clean my countertops. I clean my fruits and veggies with it. You could clean, um, I keep it in my kitchen, but you could use it in bathrooms. Um, 
on other surfaces wherever you like. It naturally cleanses the body as well and aids in digestion. So I like to put a drop of lemon in my water as well. Um, generally, the citrus oils are cleansing, so grapefruit, lemon, lime, wild orange is, is another one that we that doTERRA carries. And it also supports healthy respiratory function. So this is one that you could diffuse. It's a really sunny, positive sort of scent, and it will uplift the mood as well as um, promote positive impact on your respiratory function. This is one that you can use neat. It's not too strong, but I will say that when you use any of the citrus oils on your skin, you must stay out of, or you must keep that part of your skin covered. It should not have any sun exposure because it makes your skin photosensitive. So it could make you break out in a rash or um, it could lighten the skin. It could have any number of effects on your skin when it's exposed to the sun. So it's similar to when, if you ever put lemon juice in your hair as a kid and it lightened your hair or made it turn orange in some cases, um, that is why you might want to cover up after using lemon on your skin. The third oil, peppermint, I've already mentioned this one a few times and think of this one as invigorating. It's funny, it can also be soothing for some people. Um, this one promotes healthy respiratory function, clear breathing. You just have to put a drop in your hand and inhale it and you'll notice an immediate effect. Um, and doing that will also invigorate you. I use it um, quite often in the mornings when I'm feeling a bit sluggish or low on energy. You can take a drop or two internally to alleviate occasional stomach upset. Um, and you could inhale for a non-stimulant invigorating, invigorating pick-me-up, which I already mentioned. It also comes in, I don't know if you can see this little bottle here. It's, they're called beadlets. They're tiny, tiny little soft gels that each have a half a drop of peppermint in them. That is my new gum, basically. I don't chew gum anymore. I use these little beadlets. I break them in my mouth and they freshen up my breath really effectively. Um, but you can also swallow them whole for occasional stomach upset. Think of lavender as calming. So many of you have likely heard of lavender before or used it to promote a more restful sleep. It's widely used for its calming and relaxing qualities. But it's also really calming for the skin. It has amazing skin properties. Um, any kind of skin irritation. It can reduce the appearance of skin imperfections. Um, helps to ease feelings of tension. We talked about that already too. So this one can be applied neat directly to the skin. Um, it can also be taken internally. You can use it topically or aromatically. I actually like to add a little drop of lavender to my lemonade in the summer. It makes for a unique and more sophisticated flavor. Frankincense, this one has amazing properties. There are so many functions. I've listed cellular function as a number one um, and the one to really, I guess, remember. You can take this one internally. So you could take a couple of drops in a veggie capsule or just under the tongue to support healthy cellular function. So when I say healthy cellular function, think anti-aging, think regeneration of cells, um, this is one that's actually currently being studied for use in cancer patients, which is also really exciting. There isn't, um, there are some results out that have been really positive and there's lots more going on. There's some really, really promising, um, uses for frankincense. This is also the, you can see on the bottle that the botanical name is Boswellia. You'll often find Boswellia in natural supplements um, for, that are taken for inflammation. So you'll find it in conjunction with turmeric or curcumin in natural supplements such as those to help with inflammation. You can apply it to the bottom of your feet to promote feelings of relaxation, particularly on that busy mind, and to balance the mood. Um, it also has an impact on hormones. 
Um, it's wonderful for the skin. There's so many uses for frankincense. It is one of the most expensive and precious oils out there. And that's because it's grown primarily in Somalia, which we all know is a very difficult country to work with these days. doTERRA has done an incredible job of getting tribal leaders together to work with them and harvest frankincense and select the best quality of frankincense um, and there's some really positive results and effects of that being felt by the by the inhabitants in that country so we're really excited about that as well but it makes frankincense quite expensive it's also very difficult to harvest it grows on it's it's actually a resin a tree resin and those trees grow in very rocky mountainous regions that um, make it really difficult for people to get up there and harvest it so that's frankincense the next one is tea tree and the little picture of me might be hiding what i had indicated as a key property there tea tree is great for the skin it's also called melaleuca that is its botanical name um, and what it's called in the u.s in canada we call it tea tree it's renowned for its cleansing and rejuvenating effect on the skin. A lot of parents I hear of using it to repel lice. So it has insecticidal properties, that is true. Um, it promotes a healthy immune function and that's because of its effect on um, insects, parasites, all the sorts of things that like to live in our body, fungus, um, that sort of thing, it has an effect on that. And that's what we mean by protecting against environmental and seasonal threats. There's a little picture of Correctex down in the bottom left-hand corner there. Correctex is an ointment that can be used for the skin. This is one that I use for my husband. He is constantly getting blisters, scrapes, cuts, all that kind of stuff, it seems. And the next one is a doTERRA proprietary blend called On Guard. This is primarily used for immune support, but there are so many uses for this oil blend. It has wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary in it. It's one of my favorite blends to diffuse at Christmas time. It smells like Christmas to me. And, um, and it supports a healthy immune system. So I like to diffuse it um, in the winter when we're prone to all of those seasonal threats. Um, it protects against those. It supports the body's natural antioxidant defenses. So clove oil is highly, highly antioxidant. It is million time, millions of times more antioxidant than blueberries or pomegranate seeds. So that's something that in a small little drop of On Guard, you can get similar benefits to um, like, um, what am I trying to say? Um, to lots and lots of blueberries and pomegranate seeds, um, more than what you could eat. And On Guard also comes in soft gels. So the bottle there is one where you could, um, it's a soft gel that you could just take internally and, or you could take the oil itself, but it is because clove oil is a little bit, um, no, it has a numbing effect in the mouth and it can feel quite strong or it can sting as well. So that's one that you could take as a soft gel that's ready made, or you could put it in one of those empty vegetable capsules that I showed you earlier. Easy Air or Breathe, it used to be, it is still called Breathe in the US and in Canada it's called Easy Air. This is um, primarily for respiration. You can apply it topically to promote feelings of clear airways and easy breathing, or you could diffuse it as well. So this is one where you would just use it aromatically or topically. And for sensitive skin, you'd want to dilute it. It has laurel leaf, peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, lemon, and a, a floral called Ravensara in it that are all really wonderful for breathing. And then there's Deep Blue, which I mentioned earlier. Um, I think of Deep Blue as soothing. It's actually called Soothing Blend. This one you can apply directly to the joints and muscles. You could use the oil with a carrier oil for a deep tissue massage. So take it right to your RMT. 
um, for a deep tissue massage or just use it straight on your muscles yourself after a hard workout. It comes in a cream version or the oil itself or there's a roller bottle um, it has a roller top and that one's already diluted for you so you could just roll that right on your skin as well. You'll definitely recognize the scents in that one. There's wintergreen, there's camphor, there's peppermint, blue tansy, blue chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus. The helichrysum and osmanthus are, osmanthus are uh, florals, and but what you really smell in there is the wintergreen, the camphor, and the peppermint. This is one that is a heavy hitter in my home. Um, I tend to have stomach trouble. Some people get headaches, some people get stomach problems. I'm, I'm one who gets stomach issues. So it's called Zen Just in Canada, Digest Zen in the US. And think of it as your stomach blend. You can add a drop of water, a drop to water or to tea to maintain a healthy gastrointestinal tract. It helps reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion. Um, I like to take one or two drops internally to alleviate stomach upset, but you could also just rub it right on your stomach or, um, or up here, you know, closer to your, your stomach itself if you're feeling heartburn or indigestion. Uh, I like to have it on hand after a heavy meal when I'm, I've overindulged, which happens sometimes. And so this one comes in an oil version. It also comes in one of those soft gel versions. So that's what you're seeing in the bottle there. Um, you can just swallow those little soft gel caps whole. This one contains ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, anise, tarragon, and fennel, all things that are wonderful for digestion. So those are the top 10 oils. They are kind of like um, my top 10 favorites. You can pretty much make over your medicine cabinet, your cleaning closet, your personal care closet or cabinet with the oils that are in amongst those 10. So there's, there's something for everything. Those are probably the most often used and the oils that have the most uses. So with Zotera, you are in control of all of those things. And as I said, um, adding, you know, even just one of those things, exchanging one of your personal care items like an all-purpose cleaning spray, exchange your chemical one for an, a natural one that's just water, vinegar, and essential oils, and you've made a big difference already just by doing one thing. Just the simple things can make a big difference and eventually over time you will start to feel the changes on your body, in your environment, on your mood, on your kids. Um, you'll really start to see some positive effects. So by now some of you might be wondering how to get started. So I'm going to take a few minutes just to talk a little bit about how to do this. You can always call me. I hope you'll feel comfortable enough to do that. Um, call me, send me an email. Um, find me on Facebook or my website. I have all of those on the very last slide, so I'll give you a few minutes to write that down if you want to. So here's a forewarning. Um, if you're not already taking notes, to grab a pen and a piece of paper, put this on pause, and that'll be coming up. So there's two ways to buy, retail and wholesale. I, to be honest, don't have very many retail customers. Um, those are usually people who start off with one or two oils, they're not sure, and then eventually they convert to a wholesale membership. A wholesale membership is like a Costco membership, so you pay a membership fee or an enrollment fee of, with doTERRA, it's $42, and that gives you 25% off of all of your purchases, including your first one. Now, if you buy an enrollment kit, which I'll talk about in a minute, that enrollment fee is included in that cost. So 25% off um, all retail prices for all your products. You only need to buy one thing per year to maintain that. So there's, there's no minimum, um, there's no obligations with a wholesale membership. It doesn't mean you're selling them. Um, it doesn't mean that you're intending on building a business, so that opportunity is there. 
Um, it just means you're getting a discount just like you do at Costco. So each year when you renew your membership, you receive a free bottle of peppermint. So that's really intended to offset the cost of your membership renewal. Makes it only seven bucks each year to maintain your membership. And you, with that membership, you also gain access to log in to your own account. So there's a secure account that's yours where you can um, build your shopping cart and make future purchases within your account. And you can enjoy that wholesale membership without any strings attached. So that's the wholesale membership. As I said, retail or wholesale. These are the details on the wholesale membership. So, um, as I said, there are some kits. Um, whenever you purchase things in a kit or in volume, there's always volume discounts. So that's, that's not just doTERRA, that's every store that does that. Um, the, there's a few, I, I've just listed a few of my favorite kits here. There's the Family Physician Kit or the Essential Collection Kit. Um, that includes the 10 oils that I talked about today in five mil bottles. Then those same 10 oils and a diffuser come in the next size up. So 15 mil bottles. So those oils are three times the size, not even twice the price, and a diffuser comes with that kit. That is my, my favorite kit. The Home Essentials kit is probably the most popular kit. Um, it's the best value in my opinion. If you really want to go all out and, and make some serious changes in your home, there is what's called the Natural Solutions Kit. And this is similar to the one that I started with. Um, it came with a lot more of the oils as well as some of the other products that will really help you make over your cleaning routine. Um, there's supplements in this one, um, basically a multivitamin and omega-3 and an antioxidant which are, um, interestingly, doTERRA's number one selling product. Um, there's a, a bottle of the deep blue cream. There's a box for you to hold your oils. There's a diffuser. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. That one, you're going to pay about 550 bucks for it, but it's going to change your life. So that's one to consider, especially if you're considering doing the business. This is one that you might want to invest in um, to start with because it kind of gives you a really good start on everything, all the key products that doTERRA has to offer. So I talked about retail and wholesale. You can take your wholesale account one step further and add on the loyalty rewards program. This is the most generous program that I have ever come across in all of the rewards types programs that I've seen out there. It's like an air miles program. So when you buy something, you get points. So you continue your 25% discount on the wholesale membership. This is just taking it one step further. Um, essentially it is a monthly purchase program. We call it the LRP and you have the ability to earn between 10 and 30% back on your orders in that you're able to use on free product. So I wanna stop there for a second and make sure that the Canadians know um, for the next week, now if you're watching this after June 30th, you can ignore this part, but for the next week um, between now and June 30th, 2016, Canadians can lock in at the 30% back rate. So if you're thinking of going all in with oils, this is something that you don't wanna miss. Um, or miss out on because it's only here for another week. We've had this special promotion on for almost a year. And now that we are fully operating in Canada, that promotion is going away. And so everyone who starts on the loyalty reward program after June 30th will start earning at 10% and it will take you a year to get up to the 30% point. So basically what happens is you place a monthly order there's no minimum. You can just, the minimum is one thing, um, but that can be a magazine or a lip balm for four bucks. Um, so that is the minimum monthly purchase. That's just to keep your points. You can change your order every month. You don't have to order the same thing, but if you forget to change it one month, doTERRA is going to ship you the same month, thing the next month. 
Um, the benefits, as I said, you're going to get 30% back of your 30% of your order back in points. You're also going to get all your shipping costs back in points. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you purchase a 50 point value order. That's about 50 bucks in, in oils. You're going to get, let's call it 10 points for ease of calculation. Um, you're going to get 10 points for the shipping charge that you'll get, that you'll pay. So you pay $10 in shipping, you get 10 points back. And then you get your 30 points back, 30% back, rather, um, which is 17 points. So on a $50 order, you're going to get 27 points back. That 27 points can buy you $27 worth of oils. So that's more than half of your purchase. And that's after your 25% wholesale discount. So I've got a ton of free stuff from this program. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've tried, I tried the whole skincare line just on points. I ordered a whole family physician kit just on points. Um, it's a really generous program. And I put a little chart here in the bottom corner that tells you the number of, of value, the, the value of your order in order to receive certain things. So five or just one thing allows you to maintain your reward points. 50 allows you to earn that 30% back and increase your, oh, don't worry about the increase your percentage. Um, if you place an order of 100 points value and you enroll someone, you can get paid a bonus check on that person that you enrolled. So you're gonna get 20% of their, their purchase. Um, so that's really all you need to do to start doing this as a business, is enroll one person and you get a commission check. Um, it's, it's, it's as simple as that. There's no real difference between accounts or investments between you and, and me um, or someone who's doing the business and someone who's not. And then if you place an order of 125 value, you receive a pre the free product of the month, which is different every month. I've gotten a lot of free oils that way, um, 12 each year. And that has really increased my collection. So that is an amazing program. I wanted to share it with you. Um, you don't have to join it. It's completely up to you. It's your decision. It's just something that I find a lot of value in and I like to share it. So if you'd like to take the next step, I'm here to help. Give me a call. My number is on the screen. Um, my email address is on the screen as well, sherry at walnutsandpears.com. Or you can go to my doTERRA website, which is mydoterra.com slash walnuts and pears, like the nuts and the fruits. Um, if you want to purchase retail or you just want to browse around, you'll click on the shop button. If you want to purchase a wholesale membership and move on with an oil purchase, you click join and save. So that information is there. I want to thank you for coming. I was so excited to share all this information with you. Um, this video will be up for you to watch again and again or go back and reference if you'd like to. And otherwise, I hope to see you on some of my other videos that are, um, that are coming in future.